Hey guys, what is up? Schlappa here. And um, starting this episode, I started to explore that ravine that we keep running into. And I ran into uh, this. It's a skeleton spawner that's open to the surface. Which I, uh, I don't think I've ever seen. Um, I guess they're not that uncommon. It's right next to our uh, temple that's right near our house. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'll probably build something around this so we have sort of an endless supply of bones and arrows. Because that'd be awesome. But yeah, I thought this was the coolest thing. Uh, it's just open to the surface. I didn't empty out any of this. So cool. Right next to where we live. Right across from our cave spider house thing. So yeah, we'll be doing something with this for sure. Um, that's awesome. So yeah, that was that was a neat find. And I've just been uh, wandering through this um, this place, this is the ravine. We're not even in the ravine yet, really. We're on the side of it, but... Yeah, this is what I'll be doing for the next little bit, is exploring this, because I'm intrigued. I bet it connects to our... our uh, big cave that we've been exploring forever. Um, because, like, the cave spider and stuff was in a huge cave. Like, I explored it for, like, three hours, and I maybe got half of it done. It's enormous, so this is probably connected to it somewhere. But I'll be doing this, um, and then I'll come back and we'll do something else in the episode. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so uh, exploring it, I definitely ran into... Uh, this is actually the back of our um, <clears throat> our cave spider system. Do you guys remember making that uh, recently? Yeah, so that's our cave spider farm uh, right there. So we ran right into the back of it, which is kind of neat. Um, there's like four spawners over here too. We are absolutely finding the most ridiculous number of cave spider spawners ever. We are up to seven in one um, abandoned mine shaft, which is a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish clearing this out. And uh, if I find anything cool, I'll tell you guys. I just thought that was kind of neat that we ran straight into the back of it. Um, but yeah, we're not finding a huge amount of stuff. Uh, some lapis, some gold, not a huge amount of stuff. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the surface. Hey guys, so I'm back and I'm still in um, this cave system slash ravine slash now I'm in a different part of an abandoned mine shaft and I've just got the most ridiculous amount of materials. I have 19 blocks and I have a stack cooking, 5 gold blocks and some cooking, 30 lapis blocks, 24 redstone, 23 diamonds, 36 blocks of coal, obsidian, it's just been... I got oh, a stack and a half of railroad tracks, um, which by the way, you should pick up if you're in a mine shaft because it does save an awful lot of um, resources when you put down tracks. Because I actually haven't had to make tracks other than powered rails um, this entire series, and I have a decent number of mine car tracks going around the world. So yeah, definitely pick those up because it's very handy, saves on iron. But yeah, I'm just in here. Um, there's, there was like seven endermen outside. I don't know why. Um, I killed a couple. I have two ender pearls. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy, this cave. And it just keeps going and going and going. And I don't even know, man. It's just getting ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to head up to the surface because this is not what I wanted to do um, today. But it's kind of, I've been in here for like an hour and a half just mining. And I'm, I'm very happy with the materials I've got. I'm not complaining about that. I mean, it's very, very good. But um, yeah. I have got to go and do what I wanted to do today. So I'll meet you guys on the surface. Um, I just got to get a way out of here. I might explore down there just a little bit. Because, uh, it's the problem with caving. You know, there's always another way to go. And then you just want to explore. And blah, blah. Yeah, but I'll meet you guys on the surface. I just want to do a little update because it's uh, it's been very good. So I will see you guys uh, soon. All right. And we're back up at the surface. Yay. Um, <laughs> man, that took a long time. Um... You can see this is uh, our tunnel, by the way. We haven't uh, completely finished it. There's a librarian chilling down here. But yeah, this is uh, our tunnel. Um, if you didn't see that last episode, that goes to the cave spider. And we are dropping frames quite a bit. Anyway, uh, let's put in some of this stuff. And uh, let's uh, put our ores away. Uh, the 23 diamonds. Awesome. Uh, the lapis. Uh, the lapis was uh, pretty good. Coal. Ooh. Cool. Uh, the obsidian. We are actually going to make some chests. We need two ender chests. So we have two ender pearls. Um, anyway, uh, what else can we put away? This, 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 this. 
hasn't even been made yet. Put that in the um, thing. Oh, we need some ore. Can we just use a block? I think we can. If we put a block of coal, it's nine, so it should do the whole thing, right? We shall find out. Mob drops. Boom, boom. Uh, that was it. And we got a bunch of rails, which is awesome. Hey, friend. Okay, never mind, friend. Um, we got a bunch of rails that go in here. Uh, we need three spot. I don't know why there's a crafting table in here, but we'll just let it happen. So that's all rails from a thing. That's cool. We forgot to put this in here. Um, yeah, super cool. We got a ton of stuff. Let's, uh, we got a blaze rod. Does that make two? It does. That's awesome. We should be able to make two ender chests. Um, we still don't have a silk touch pick though, so we can't actually pick up the ender chest. So we are going to enchant another pick. Um, I want either a work pick or a silk touch because my other work pick is uh, beyond repair. You can't repair that one anymore. Uh, I need to make the pick. Uh, you can't actually m repair it anymore, which is too bad. Yeah, but it served us well. We repaired it a lot. Um, it served us very well, and I don't want to use my fortune one for repairs anymore. And, of course, I forgot lapis. De toi. So, yeah. Just get a new pick. Unbreaking three. Just unbreaking three. Uh, that's pretty awful. We'll go get some levels and get another pick. That's really bad. We can... Put it with a book, I guess. If we get an efficiency book. Uh, can, we uh, can we put these two together? 39. I don't really want to do that. Um, anyway, uh, that's that. We have two ender chests, which is cool. But we need silk touch before we use them, so I'll just put them away. Because I don't want to put them down and then not be able to lift them for the next while. Um, okay, so that was a boring putting away of ores. Now what I want to do is something with the redstone. What I want to do is uh, we found the skeleton spawner way over there. And it's pretty close to our cave spider spawner. So I'm going to put a little room around it. And what I want to do, instead of having its own tunnel, because we already built this one. What I want to do is have a point in the tunnel. have a button here somewhere that you flip it and it chooses... Uh, your track goes to one or the other. So basically there'll be a button and you can go to the skeleton or the cave spider with the switch of a button or a lever probably. And I'm not great at redstone so I have to experiment a bit. For those of you who watch my redstone adventures we just got to power sources. Um, I have a few more recorded but I haven't put them up yet. But more or less yeah, there's going to be a lever that switches between skeleton, cave spider, skeleton, cave spider. Blah, blah, blah. There's a... Not even a tongue twister, I just can't speak. Skeleton, cave spider, skeleton, cave spider. So I have to go dig the tunnel. But I don't want to do that yet because I only have this pick. I haven't repaired it once, so it shouldn't be too expensive to repair, but... It's also Fortune 3, so I mean... Do I really want to use it? I guess I could use this on breaking. But anyway, um... Yeah, I'm going to go do that. And I will uh, get back to you guys when we have something new to do. When the tunnel's finished, mostly. And the room around the skeleton spawner is important as well. So I will be back. Hey guys, check this out. So this is the chest that was uh, with our skeleton spawner here. Two music discs, two name tags, and diamond horse armor. That is an unreal chest. I don't think... Like, that's a great chest. There's no second chest, but... That is a great chest. So... So, um, now we have to clear out, uh, what is it, eight, one, two, one, two, um, I'm going to make it a little s small, wait a minute, let me figure this out here, um, so we want it, one, two, one, two, we want it to go three each direction, right, so we'll have it remove all of these and then bring it down two or three levels and then we'll have one block here for it to have a water stream and then I think that's what we want yeah 
Yeah, I'll I'll do this all off camera. I'm thinking about doing more of a dispenser system, so it's a little bit different than our cave spider spawner, because I don't want to make the same spawner um, for bones and arrows. And I'm going to put some sort of roof on top of this, um, obviously, because it's not going to be open. That would that would be crazy. Oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to do for the top of it, though. I don't know, man. There's a lot of ideas coming through my head right now, but not many make uh, good sense. There's my phone. Um, okay, yeah, I'll do the rest of this off camera. I'll figure out the area. I think this is what I want, though, and then just bring it down. Whoa, I'm losing frames. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a second with uh, a, more uh, a more improved version. All right, so we dug a tunnel to our spawner. <laughs> That's how far it is. Not very far at all, just over this uh, this ravine, which is kind of cool. And it leads to some uh, interesting building ideas. So I sort of have an idea. I still do want to have um, a separate rail that's going to break off somewhere, uh, probably at that bridge maybe, or just before that bridge. Because what I want to do is sort of weird. So they're going to come out this side. I so the skeletons are going to be pushed this way over to here and then dropped um, into a killing chamber, I guess. Swept into a killing chamber. Whatever. That's pretty standard in spawners. That's kind of how they work. Um, and then what we're going to do is have some sort of... I think it's going to be almost like a floating platform somewhere down there. I want them to go a little bit distance, like a little bit underneath, and then the train's going to sort of split off and come down across the top of the ravine and into our little chamber. So I kind of want to make it out of glass, so it's sort of like floating in a ravine. That's sort of the idea. And uh, constructing it might be a little bit of a pain, but that's what I want to do, because I think that'll be kind of neat. So I have to do some stuff. I'm still going to leave this open so I can easily, you know, jump between the two, but... um. I'm going to have to figure out where I want this and figure out some logistics, and then we should get uh, working on it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have it sort of floating around here, maybe five levels down is probably okay. Alright, I'm going to get working on it, um, and I will be back soon. All right, guys, so a little bit of a progress update. This has taken a long time, uh, just digging. Um, so I was thinking it's sort of an underground railway system, so I was, you know, kind of picturing a subway, because that sort of just makes sense. So I thought we'd have uh, the two colors. So white is the skeleton line, red is the spider line. They separate here, so white goes that way, red continues that way. Realistically, I could just put them in the same place and walk over because they're so close, but I thought this might be a little bit cooler. Um, I'm going to take out all the andesite and stuff in here. Uh, I might make it all stone. I might not. It would take a lot of work. But anyway, I'll show you where the skeleton one uh, goes. This is going to be three high. I just haven't done that yet. So if we run all the way down here, uh, it's not too far. I mean, it is parallel to the other line, um, but we're going to leave it for now. Um, so this is going to be sort of a glass lookout. Uh, you can see the other line, which is kind of neat. And then it curves under here. And then it'll come and land right. Uh, this is where the s things are going to get dropped onto this platform. Um, I might move it down slightly, but I kind of like where it is. This isn't probably going to be on top of it, but they're going to get dropped into here. And um, yeah, this is going to be sort of like our little platform. There's the ladder for the cave spider. But this is going to be sort of encased glass a little bit. It's going to be pretty small probably. There might be even station like in the wall and then you walk out. Another thing I was thinking about doing is uh, not torching this ravine and like maybe slabbing it so you don't get spawns. I don't know, but this episode I am just working on the railway because it is kind of taking a lot of time. So that's sort of a progress update. This is going to be sort of like out like this and then have sort of glass covering it so that you can kind of just look out while you're riding. It kind of breaks up the ride a little bit. But yeah, this is definitely a time sink. And uh, we're going to probably work on the redstone now. So I'm going to jump into a creative world and show you guys how the um, 
track switch is going to occur um, on this block. All right, so uh, here's what we're going to do. So this is the railway coming from our house. And um, here is the crossroad. So if you guys didn't know, if you power a rail that can go either way, it'll switch directions when you power it. So basically, um, one way will go spiders, one way will go skeletons. And we can put this at our base so you can choose. And it'll also be so that when you're coming back from the um, spider or skeleton that you can easily, it'll be already be switched to home so you'll never have like some weird system where it goes the other way. Um, so I'm going to have to tweak the tunnel a bit so that they're parallel when they split or, um, yeah, I get, well, they're, they're in a straight line when they split because right now one would be going that way and I just had some troubles because I'm not that good at redstone. So yeah, this is the system we're going to use. So I'm going to go tweak the tunnel a bit and uh, we're going to have a tunnel just running underneath the tunnel, a little two by one thing just for redstone to hook up with the base and uh, that'll be our little system. Pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. Those are there for no reason, by the way. Literally all you need is um, redstone going into the block that has the rail on it. Very simple, very easy, and that's what we're going to do. So I will be right back in the real world. Uh, by my world, not... You know what I mean. I'll see you there. Alright, so we've got this in. Um, so it's going to split these two directions, and it's uh, switching on and off. So now we just got to hook this all the way up at our base, so we need a bunch of repeaters and all kinds of stuff, and we just got to finish all of this, and you can hear me slowly fading away as I realize how much work that is going to be. But yeah, that's uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. I could put a block here, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, I will hook this all up and get these tunnels as finished as I feel like playing today. And um, we will come back to see it. All right, so um, it is complete. Up uh, is unpowered, I think, and that leads to spider farm. Down leads to this skeleton farm that has yet to be built, but will be there. So now we just have to finish uh, the decorating. This wall is done all the way down. This wall has to be put in. This is the um, polished granite. And uh, it's a little slow. I would ride it, but I'm going to do that at the end of the episode. It's just a little slow coming around corners, but for now it's fine. Um, I have 10 left, but uh, we're not going to spend the resources to fix this right now because it, it, I mean, it, it works fine. and It doesn't really matter if it's a couple seconds slow for me. Uh, so let's just throw these away. Um, yeah, so it's complete. Um, I'm just going to finish decorating and then we'll ride it. Yeah, I'm just going to finish decorating and then we'll ride it. Um, Yay. And then next episode we'll finish the skeleton farm, so it's kind of a complete system. So I will be back with the finished product, and we shall ride it. Alright guys, so to end the episode, uh, we didn't decorate this today, we will do that. Um, in the next episode we'll do the skeleton spawner and decorate um, this part and probably finish the um, thing. This is all done to the cave spider spawner though, the other side is not quite finished. As you can see it's pointing up at the red, so let's... Uh, Take a ride. It's a bit slow, but it's it's good enough. It loses a lot of speed on uh, corners, so it's a bit more realistic than it used to be, I guess. So, whoop, we're going this way. Yay. Um, so yeah, this goes all the way over, and I'll ride it back and then go to the skeleton farm just to show you guys that it works. Um, you can hop out. I might make this go um, eventually like straight down instead of coming here and going down the ladder. I might make the rail cart go um, all the way down to the actual farm, but I'm not going to do that this episode. I've spent so much time on this project. It has been uh, about two and a half hours mining, putting these blocks in, just all of it together. Um, it adds up, so we're going back this way, uh, but it's going to be nice to have sort of this little subway system. It's a good way to get places that aren't quite far enough to like put nether portals. I didn't think it was worth it to put nether portals to these just because it's not uh, it's not that far. Um, so let's switch it down and uh, hop in. I didn't think it was worth it to put nether portals to these two things because they're so close in the real world. So the subway system is kind of a neat little way to, um, to get them done. I do want to clean up this tunnel, make it all stone or something. So you can see it's switched. So now I am in the other tunnel which has only got finished up to about here. So, yeah. 
so next episode we will finish this tunnel um, that's not going to be a big part of it though the big part of it will be doing the actual farm um, because we are going to do the skeleton farm so we can get a limited uh, unlimited supply of bones and whatnot uh, which will be very cool um, so i'm excited to build a skeleton farm anyway that's um <clears throat> that's our subway for now uh we will finish it up see watch the next episode which might come out tomorrow i'm not sure Watch the next episode if you want to um, see it completed. Oh, I left the, I left the gate open. Anytime I leave this gate open, they just jump down because they're idiots. Oh man, I hate these things. Um, but yeah, now watch the next episode uh, if you want it to see the um, skeleton farm. I'll link it and whatever. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Ciao.